بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Dear brothers and sisters Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh In the last session I talked about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I discussed some of, some of the prophecies concerning the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the Bible in the book of the Jews and Christians I referred to this verse where it is stated there in the in the Old Testament Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Quran about the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that the Jews and the Christians know about him they knew about Muhammad and the coming of Muhammad وسلم, it is there in their books and this is one of the verses that we can see in their books referring referring to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who would like to read the verse brother Ahmad please I will raise them up a prophet from among their uh, brethren like unto thee I will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him okay Jutrimi just to give the reference for that for those for those who would like to check this reverence, they can go to 1818 Deuteronomy. I stressed or I underlined, just, just think about this, like unto thee. And we found out that Muhammad Sallallahu is like Moses. In terms of parents, Muhammad and Moses had parents, a father and a mother. But Jesus had only, a mother. Only, only a, mother, a mother, Mary. And then we talked about the miraculous birth of Jesus, whereas Muhammad and Moses were born naturally. So this is, I mean, if we compare between Jesus, Muhammad, and Moses, we can reach the conclusion that Moses and Muhammad are alike in many aspects. Jesus was born in a, in a special way. Marriage ties. Moses and Muhammad married and begot children, but Jesus remained bachelor all his time. Another aspect, Jesus was rejected by his own people, whereas Moses and Muhammad were accepted as prophets by their people in their very t lifetime. Muhammad is like Moses. John tells us, according to the Bible, John 1.11 tells us that Jesus, he came unto his own, but his own received him not. So he was not accepted by his people. Another aspect, Moses and Muhammad brought what? New laws, Sharia, the Sharia of Moses and the Sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They brought new regulations, new rules, new rules for their people. But Jesus said what? I did not think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets, I'm not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So he did not come to destroy, but to fulfill, to go from there. Another aspect, how they departed, both Moses and Muhammad, والسلام, died naturally, but according to the Christian faith, According to Christians, Jesus was violently killed on the cross. Muslims do not accept that. Muslims do not accept or buy this dogma. But this is what they teach us. The Christians say that Jesus was put on the cross to redeem all humanity. Another difference, 
heavenly abode. Moses and Muhammad both were buried in earth, but according to Christian faith, Jesus is in heaven. Now, let's conclude from this part that what? Muhammad is like Moses. Alayhi salatu is like Moses. Moses. Close to close to Moses in terms of similarities. Now let's go to another aspect. In the name of God, Bismillah. This is a prophecy by itself. In the name of Allah, Bismillah. It is a prophecy. It says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hear unto my words, which he shall speak in my name. You see that? Underlined words, speak in, my name, in my, my name. In the name of what? The name of, of God. In the, the name, name of, God. of God. God. So this is a prophecy belonging to who? To Jesus? No. Or to Muhammad? To Muhammad. 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 This is another Muhammad. prophecy <coughs> belonging to Muhammad. our dear prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As you see there, in the name of God, we use it. Bismillah, and then the prophet says, he shall speak in the name of God, in my, my name, meaning the name of Allah, the true God. Let's go to another part. Those who follow the messenger, the prophet, who's Ummi, you know Ummi? A letter. A letter, whom they find written. يَجِدُونَهُ مَكْتُوبًا You see, the ayah tells us الذي, أو, or الذين يتبعون الرسول النبي الأمي الذي يجدونه مكتوبا عندهم في التوراة والإنجيل نبوءات prophecies Now we come to know, to know more about these prophecies concerning our dear prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم those who follow the messenger, the prophet, who is on me, and lettered, whom they find written with them in the Torah and in the Injil, i.e., the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now let's go to the Bible. Can we find it there? Can we find this unlettered there? Let's see. Brother Ahmed, can you help me please okay. reading that part? Okay. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I praise thee, and he says, I'm not learned. King James Version. King James this Version. is the Bible, the Version, King James Version. So you can refer to that. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned. Saying, read this, اقرأ. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam قال, ما أنا بقارئ. ما أنا بقارئ. This is what the Bible says. Read, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he says, he says, I am not learned. I can't read. See, this is from the Bible. Yeah. And now let's go to another verse or another Variation or another uh, version. This is another version of, of the Bible. Says, and it is handed to one who cannot read. With the request, read this. He replies, I cannot read. Iqra. He says, I can't read. Ma'ana biqari. This is in the Bible. Referring to who? Prophet. To the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's go to another prophecy, another nubu'ah about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is again in the Bible, in Isaiah or Isaiah 21, 13-15. I would like one of you to help me and read it, please. Yes, brother. 
The burden upon Arabia in the forest in Arabia shall ye lodge. The inhabitants, the inhabitants of of the land of Tema, Tema of Tema. Please just let's stop here. Tema, mm -hmm. you know, the small town near Medina, Tema. We know it. Tema near Medina, Tema. Now it's called Tema. So it's referring to the small town there, Tema or Tema. Mm -hmm. The inhabitants of the of the land of the land of Tema brought water to him that was thirsty. They prevented with their bread him that fled, for they fled from the swords, from the drawn sword. It, this prophecy speaks about the migration of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, from Mecca to Medina. How they gave him, you know, water, and you see there, Tema. This is a town near Medina. It's known till now. So this is another prophecy we can refer to. Let's go to another part. John 16, 13. What does it say? Could you please read it, Brother Ahmed? Okay. John 16 to 13. روح الحق فهو يرشدكم إلى جميع الحق لأنه لا يتكلم من نفسه بل كل ما ما يسمع يتكلم به. Good. Now let's go to that. English translation. When he, when he's the spirit of truth. When he, when he, say it again, please. When he, when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak. John sixteen to thirteen. Wait. Now let's ponder. Let's. Analyze this text. Yeah, there is a... It says, when he, the spirit of truth, comes. Who is this he? Hua. عندما يأتي هو. When he comes, the spirit of truth. He will guide you into all the truth. All truth. For he... Again, he and he and he, for he will not speak on his own initiative, not from his own. But whatever he, he hears, he will speak. He will speak the truth he heard from, from God subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, Brother yeah. Muhammad. There is in fact a, a Quranic verse that goes in harmony with this uh, Biblical text. Wonderful. Uh, Please, we, uh, let's, let's, let's uh, listen. To it. That is, he means Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He does not speak out of his own initiative. It is only an inspiration revealed to him. So uh, I think that the, the verse goes in harmony with this with this text. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Jazakallah khair, brother yeah. Muhammad, for this great participation. So he again in the Quran and in the Bible. Referring to he, so who is this he? We will discuss inshallah after the break. Thanks for your participation. May Allah reward you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hopefully we'll discuss some, some tips on, on how to increase the, the ability of getting the du'a or the supplication answered. Allah delays giving you what you want and gives you a reward that is equal to that or better in this life or in the world to come uh, for giving you your sins and giving you good deeds. I'm going to look at some questions that we've asked some of our brothers on the street. Uh, we asked them, should Muslims have a dialogue with other religions? We're going to need some stability. So. We, uh, it doesn't matter where we live, we need to care for those ones to give them the rights that Allah gives. This life is not the eternal life, it is a test. Particularly for the youth of today. So if there are any parents or uncles or whoever is watching, if you have 16, 17, 18, 20 year olds with you, make sure they stop doing whatever they're doing and come in and watch this show, inshallah. <laughs> Mm. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا وحبيبنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Before the break we're referring to John 16.13 where he says when he the spirit of truth comes he will guide you into all the truth for he will not speak on his own initiative but whatever he hears he will speak John 16 13 the question was who was he or who is he the Bible refers to a person who will come in the future he will come when he comes when the spirit comes he speaks about what now or the past the Bible speaks what uh, about what for the, future. Oh, for the future. future about the future says when he comes meaning what someone will come brother Muhammad you like yes, to say something is, uh, also I just wanted to quote another verse from the, the glorious Quran mm -hmm. uh, 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 the verse reads وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ اسمه أحمد. This is uh, Prophet Jesus speaking here. Uh, there is uh, the verse is speaking about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Prophet. Yeah, speaking about Prophet Jesus. He Go says, ahead. "And I give the glad tidings of a messenger who shall come after me, whose name shall be Ahmed. This Wait. is uh, this is just another name of Prophet Muhammad. Wonderful. Jazakallah yeah, so, so. for referring to this yeah. great verse. Yeah. So he. وما ينطق عن الهوى إن هو إلا وحي يوحى. محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم did not speak just from you know vain from or baseless or from from his own mind from his own initiative as the Bible says. He is not speaking from his own initiative, but as he hears, he speaks. The Christians might say some. Learned Christians might say, but he refers to Jesus, not Muhammad. Yeah. How can we respond to those who say so? They say, he, in this text, when he, the spirit of truth, comes, some learned sc scholars or some, you know, Christians would say what? He refers to Jesus, not Muhammad. How can we respond to them? Yes. Brother Amr? This uh, quotation is from the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And um, it refers to a future uh, event. Good. So it refers to Muhammad. This, this prophecy is in the New Testament and talks about something to happen in the future. Yes. In addition to that, the Prophet Jesus, السلام, Prophet Jesus, السلام, says when he comes but Jesus was there yeah. right yes. Jesus was there yeah. and if they speak about the Holy Spirit they say oh this is the Holy Spirit who is the Holy Spirit Ruhul Qudus according to Muslims yeah. but Indeed. the Spirit was there from the beginning according to them he was there the Holy Spirit was there you know in, in some biblical biblical references they say you know the mother of Mary was filled with the Holy Spirit Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit guided those prophets and messengers and guided the disciples who was guiding them so they are talking about who this prophecy talks about Someone in the past no. or someone, someone in the future. coming in the future? Coming in the future. This is one thing. The other thing is, who will guide you to all truth? Who? Muhammad sallallahu He was given the Quran, the glorious Quran, which includes everything about this life and the hereafter. Muhammad sallallahu told us about Jannah, about paradise, about the hellfire. He told us about many, many, many things. 
law, the law of inheritance. Laws, different laws are told by who? By Muhammad sallam, who was given this message from from who? From Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he, he will present, he will talk about, about what? From what he hears. Listen to that. But whatever, whatever he, whatever he hears, he will speak about. This is in John chapter what? Brother Ahmed, help yes. me please. I read. What is the, the name or the number of that text? John? John 16 to 13. 16, 13. Yes. Good. So now we conclude that these prophecies fit none but one. Who is he? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is the last prophet. From the Quran and from the Bible, we came to know that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, an Nabi al Ummi, this is what the Bible speaks about, unlettered, cannot who cannot read. And this is the case, or this is the situation of our dear Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he is the last messenger. We have to believe in him as a prophet and as the last messenger. Now let's go to some of his sayings. Some of the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to know more about his teachings, to know more about his guidance. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the reward of deeds depends upon the intentions. <laughs> and every person will get the reward according to what he has intended. This is in Al Bukhari 1 1. So, this is one of the beautiful sayings of the Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Another beautiful saying I would like to ask. Brother Mahmoud, please. A man said to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advise me. The Prophet replied, do not become angry. The man repeated his request. So the man repeated his request several times. And the Prophet said, in each case, do not become angry. Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 8, number uh, 137. So we see now another beautiful teaching from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu don't get angry. La taghdab. La taghdab. La taghdab. This is the teaching. This is the guidance of our dear Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Another beautiful tradition. Here we go there. Can you see it, Brother uh, Sami? Yes, please. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, A person who goes out of his house in search of knowledge, he is in, on God's way and remains so until he returns. Great. You see how Islam, how the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad Wasallam, value knowledge. Islam is the religion of knowledge. And seeking ilm or knowledge, as you see here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of him. So let's try our best to increase our knowledge. And even... You know, those who know nothing about Allah or the religion of Islam, I would like to advise them to seek more of knowledge concerning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, concerning their own creator. Let's know more and more about him. Again, let me repeat this beautiful hadith. It says, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, said, a person who goes out of his house in search of knowledge, he is on God's way and remains so until he returns. MashaAllah, this is great. Allah will give him reward. Allah will take care of him. Allah will guard him. Alhamdulillah. Another golden hadith. Let's go to this hadith. Who would like to read it? Brother Muhammad, can you read it, please? Can you see it? 
I just can see it right from here. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever has three daughters, this is a good, good news for those who have daughters. Those who have three daughters or more, Talath Banat, huh? or more or less, inshallah, if he cares and provides for them and shows them mercy, he will enter paradise. What a beautiful thing. You see how Islam values women, female in general? So those who attack Islam, saying Islam degrades women, Islam is against women. Is this true? Yeah. No Look at it. Look at this hadith, beautiful hadith, where it says that if you have three daughters and you take care of them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, inshallah, accept you and admit you to paradise. Allah will grant you Jannah. Beautiful thing. Let's go to another hadith. It says here, a man once told the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he had many children but did not kiss any one of them. He did not kiss any of them. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, Verily, God only show mercy to those of his servants who do good to others. In a different narration, you know, Ar-Rahimun, Yarhamun Rahman. Those who show mercy to others, Allah will shower His mercy upon them. Another great hadith. This is the reality of Islam. This is the beauty of Islam that we must share with the whole world. Let's go to another part, another hadith. Beautiful hadith. As he carried his, you know, the Prophet ﷺ carried his grandson and his, on, on his shoulders. The Prophet was heard to say, Oh God, I love him. So you love him too. You know how the Prophet ﷺ was carrying Al-Hasan or Al-Hussein and said, I love them. Oh Allah, love them too. See the mercy, this great prophet. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ He was sent as mercy to all mankind. Look at how the Prophet ﷺ deals with the kids, with the children. How he deals with the companions. How he deals even with non-Muslims. And we have, inshallah, more hadiths, more sayings, covering or discovering more through which about the seerah, the hayah, the life, and the guidance of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But inshallah, I will discuss this in the upcoming session, God willing. Inshallah. Thank you for all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mm-hmm.